Hello everyone. As we already discussed in the first video of profit and loss, that how to find the profit, what exactly the meaning of profit is, what is the meaning of profit percent, the meaning of loss percent, loss, and the selling price. Today in this video, we are discussing that whatever is given in the books can be learned and it can also be understood. So we are basically understanding the concept of profit and loss and we are not learning the or mug up the formula which are there in profit and loss. Now the first formula in our books are given as this where SP is the selling price, P percent means profit percent and CP is the cost price. Or we are saying that selling price is equals to 100 plus profit percent upon 100 multiplied by cost price. Yet there is another formula which is there that is selling price is equals to 100 minus loss percent upon 100 multiplied by cost price. So basically these are the two formula which people generally learn. We are saying that instead of learning the formula as we have touched this part in the first video, we should understand that what is the meaning of this part. As I am saying that everything is 100% of itself, we already discussed that if something is increased by 20%, this is already we discussed in the topic percentage, increased by 20% means that something has increased from 100 to 120. When we are saying that something has increased from 100 to 120, when we talk about the same profit percent, that means the cost price is less and the selling price is more and in between the two, there is a profit of 20% or the increase of 20%. That actually means if the cost price would be 100, then for every 100, the selling price is 20 more than 100 or the selling price is 120. Or we are saying that the ratio of selling price to the cost price should be equal to. Because for every 100 rupees of the cost price, the selling price must be 120, which is 20% increase or 20% more than the cost price. So we can say selling price upon cost price is equal to 120 upon 100. Now, the point is from where this 120 has come. Actually, this 120 is nothing but 100 plus profit percent. We already know the profit percent is 20. So, it is 100 plus 20 which comes out to be 120. So, this is basically this part, 100 plus P percent. This 100 is the denominator and the cost price is the ratio here. If in case we analyze this, we can say selling price upon cost price is nothing but 100 plus profit percent, whatever the profit percent is upon 100. So this is the meaning of this formula or this ratio. Or if we cross multiply this cost price to this, it comes out to be the formula which is given in our books. Now we are saying that to everything, whatever we can write it as selling price upon cost price is equals to 100 plus profit percent or 120 in this case upon 100. We are not writing the multiplication of cost price here. Now, we basically understood that this is the formula. Now, we generally have three type of questions. One is the cost price, one is the profit percent and the third is the selling price. Either the cost price and the profit percent is given and we have to find out the selling price. Like, suppose I am saying an uh, article is costing us rupees 1200 and there is a profit of 10%. So what is the selling price of the article? This is, this can be one of the questions which may be asked. Now, as the profit is 10%, we understood that the ratio of selling price to the cost price must be 110 upon 100. So we are writing a ratio that selling price upon cost price is equal to 110 upon 100. We already know the cost price is 1200. So the selling price comes out to be 110 upon 100 multiplied by the cost price that is 
1200 cancelling it out it comes out to be 1320 so 1320 rupees is the selling price of the article when the cost price is 1200 and the profit percent is 10 the second question can be the cost price is given the selling price is given and we have to find out the profit percent we can say that I have purchased an article for rupees 600 and I am selling the article for rupees 720. So what exactly is my profit percent? Now same way, the same formula I can apply here as well where the selling price upon cost price is equal to 100 plus P percent upon 100. Because 100 plus 3 percent because the profit selling price must be greater and I am writing 720 upon 600 is equal to 100 plus P percent upon 100. When we cancel it out, then 100 plus P comes out to be 120 or I am saying if in case I am saying it is 120% that actually means that it has increased by 20% so here the correct answer is 20% profit. So either this and this is given, we have to find out this. This and this is given, we have to find out this. The third can be that this value and this value is given and we have to calculate the cost price. Or I am saying that there is a profit of 10% on an article and I am selling the article for B550. So what is the cost price of the article? Again, the profit of 10% we understood is 110 upon 100. The selling price is already given as 550. I can write say SP upon CP is equal to 110 upon 100. Where the selling price is already 550, so 550 upon cost price is equal to 110 upon 100. Solving it out, the cost price comes out to be 500 rupees. So here the cost is 500 rupees. So totally we can say that if we understood this formula, where selling price upon cost price is equal to 100 plus profit percent upon 100 because profit is always when selling price is more than the cost price so we can apply in all the different costs now we are talking about the loss the only difference between this and this is here the selling price is more than the cost price so we are getting the profit if the selling price is less than the cost price then we are getting a loss when we talk about loss, again, this is something like it is decreased by 10%. Now, why I am saying that something is decreased by 10%, this again we have discussed in the chapter percentages. This actually means that the ratio of the two quantities is equal to 90 upon 100. Decreased by 10% means out of 100, it is decreased by 10 and it becomes 90. Now, the formula when we talk about the formula, we can put it like selling price upon cost price because for every cost price to be 100, the selling price must be 90 or decrease by 10%. Or to this, we can say selling price upon cost price is equal to 100 minus loss percent. Here, it is decreased by 10% which is actually equal to loss of 10%. So it is 100 minus loss percent that is 10 upon 100. If in case we cross multiply this cost price, so this comes out to be and this becomes the formula in the book. Now we are not talking about that we should go according to the book or not. We are saying that instead of learning these two formula, it is better to understand that why it is 100 plus P percent, why it is 100 minus L percent and whether we multiply this by cost price or we multiply this by selling price. Again, as in this part, we discussed that either two of the things are given and third we have to calculate. Same is the case with this. We know that either the cost price and the loss percent is given. We have to find out the selling price. Cost price and loss percent is given. We have to find out selling price. So we are saying that we have purchased an article for rupees 400 and there is a loss of 20%. So I am saying it is now the minus of 12, 20%. So what is the selling price? 
If I say it is loss of 20 percent, which is equal to 80 upon 100, because 100 minus loss percent, it is loss. So 100 minus loss comes out to be 80. So selling price upon cost price is equals to 80 upon 100. And we know the value of cost price is 400. So selling price upon 400 is equal to 80 upon 100. And the selling price comes out to be 80 upon 100 multiplied by 400, which actually comes out to be 320 rupees. So I am saying if the cost price is 400, the loss is 20 percent, then the selling price comes out to be rupees 320. This is the first kind of question you may be asked. Another is cost price is given, selling price is given, and we have to find out the loss percent. Or I am saying that I have purchased an article for rupees 800, sold it for rupees 600. So we definitely know that if we purchase an article for a higher price and sold it for rupees lesser one, so there is a loss in this case. And what is the percentage of loss we have to tell you? Again, the selling price that is 600 upon the cost price that is 800 is equal to. This is the ratio of selling price to cost price. It is 100 minus loss percent because this loss percent we have to calculate upon 100. Once we calculate it, it comes out to be 600 upon 8 or 100 minus loss percent is equal to 75. So when I am saying it is 75 percent or the selling price is 75 percent of the cost price, that actually means it is a loss of 25 percent. So here I am saying there is a loss of 25 percent. So this is another kind of question can be asked in the loss case. The third can be that we know the value of loss percent, we know the value of selling price and we have to calculate the cost price. Suppose I am saying there is a loss of 10 percent in an article and we sell it for rupees 180. So what is the cost price of the article? Again I am saying the selling price that is 180 upon the cost price that is 100 is equal to get cost price as the CP which we have to calculate. So this is equal to 90. From where 90 has come because the loss of 10 percent or decrease of 10 percent means from 100 it goes to 90 upon 100. Once we calculate this it comes out to be 200 rupees. So here the correct answer is rupees 200. Now in a nutshell we can revise that these two are the basic formulas which are basically derived from this logic. Either this or this that the ratio when it is increased then it is 100 plus P. When it is decreased then it is 100 minus L. So selling price upon cost price ratio is either with the profit case or with the loss case. Now either this is the formula or this is the formula. There are three things given the selling price, the cost price or loss or profit. Whenever the three things are given, we have, are having two things in the question which are given to you and one you have to calculate. So we have to analyze that which two parts are given and which we have to calculate and then we can apply in the formula. Thank you.